What's up, what's up, what's up? It's CryptoRocco here guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency price prediction for 2018. We're going to look at a key date and an event which has got the potential to make cryptocurrency and Bitcoin bounce back and go on that bull run that we've all been waiting for in 2018. The market haven't really recovered since it crashed in, in January and February, so we're all waiting for that bull run. So we'll talk about that event. Also at the end of this video, guys, I'll talk about a conspiracy theory. <laughs> we all love conspiracy conspiracy theory so watch the video till the end to find out also i'd just like to say if you haven't already subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost you anything but it means a lot to me in this channel we talk about cryptocurrency news icos new coins investment tips technical analysis and everything cryptocurrency related to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency and internet of money so if you guys haven't subscribed already just scroll down click that button it only takes a second and it would mean a lot to me the event that I'm talking about, talking about is consensus. If you guys don't know what it is, consensus is a annual blockchain te technology summit. It's held in May. Um, it's held by CoinDesk. CoinDesk is a great website. I'll, I'll get most of my news from Coinbase. They're a brilliant website to follow. So what is um, blockchain technology summit consensus? It's one of the biggest networking um, events where people from all around the world gather like it says the leading in industry startups investors financial institutions uh enterprise tech leaders academic policy groups so very very important event for blockchain and cryptocurrency last year guys you can see ceo of coinbase fidelity investments um ibm very very important people attended this event and this year it's happening in may again let's just find out guys some of the people attending you can see who's attended some of the key investors enterprises and industries the, the key people in our industries been attending and discussing i wish i could have attended this event because i'd get to meet people about cryptocurrency and blockchain which i love doing so i'd love to have gone to this event and some of the speakers as well guys some of the very very important people in this world would be talking about at this event so i wish I could have gone to this event next year I'd plan better too so that I can attend this event um, so this was last year guys and let's have a look at what happened last year when this happened so the event happened in May and if you guys have followed me guys and if you follow financial markets you, you know that it's, people always talk about buy the news sell the rumors so price doesn't if, if, if an event happens in May 10th it doesn't mean the price will go up in May the 10th it usually go up before the speculation beforehand and people react to it beforehand and history always repeats itself because it's human beings that trade we always FOMO we've always got the same feeling same way of working some people are smarter than us some people are not but usually Usually humans we, we always let history repeat itself so let's have a look guys in April it was about 29 30 uh, billion the market cap and I'm looking at the market cap guys but Bitcoin usually drives the market if Bitcoin goes up cryptocurrencies go up Bitcoin goes down cryptocurrencies goes down so this chart would look very similar to Bitcoin but I'm looking at the market cap so it was 30 billion uh, before May and April time and it went up as you can see massively it almost doubled tripled almost went up to 90 grand 90 billion so again am I saying it's going to repeat itself I don't know but history always tends to repeat itself if you look at what happened at the start of uh, 2017 it, it same thing happened guys it crashed twice um and um, like it, it crashed in January and February and if you look at what happened this year start of this year it crashed again I, I took some money out but I didn't take as much money out I wish I had taken more money out Um, but you can see that what happened and since then guys it's, it's dipped again um, and it's, it's consolidating it's quite range bound now Bitcoin it hasn't really done much in the last couple of months couple of weeks so we'll see what happens guys so but this this uh, this event could have a massive impact on bitcoin and cryptocurrencies again so let's have a look a bit more in detail about what this event is in 2018 in 2018 it's happening on the 14th and the 16th although they talk about technology a lot more about blockchain and the future of blockchain i think this event comes down to a lot of it is about you know finding investments a lot of the coins are going to go to this event. Some of the cryptocurrencies that invest in the cryptocurrency companies are going to go to this event. They're going to meet the investments, the institutional money people, the people you know with a lot of money, the big big whales as we talk as we like to as we like to call them. And they like to get investments. If a whale go to this event, finds a coin really interesting, he might put a lot of his money in. And as you can see, guys, some of the V chains, the Ripple, Quantum, some of the 
some of the uh, people got uh, involved with this event is massive so attendance guys as you can see uh, a lot of people will be going to this event some of the industries that's involved with this event regions guys asia australia north america all around the world guys attendance level again we saw it went up three times last year this time twice the amount of people are going to this event so potentially is it going to rise three times again we don't know it's a completely different market to before so we don't know what's going to happen uh, i'll advise you guys to take some time and go through this because there's some very good information about this event and, and next year i'd love to go to this event so this year this year these are the speakers guys again i'd love to have heard some of these people speak and interact with some of these people because they're the key people in in the industry so sponsors guys so again <laughs> Deloitte so these were these are this year's sponsors guys some very 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 big big name are sponsoring this event hackathon guys I don't know if you guys know about hackathon it's a um it's like a coding it came from a coding back a coding industry people would just sit for hours and days to try and solve a problem I've taken part in a different sort of hackathon and it was quite interesting so it's very a uh, very uh, good event for innovation so how much does it cost to go to this event it costs you upwards of two grand to go to this event if you're a student it's slightly cheaper but you can imagine you know people of the street couldn't anyone can go to this event people with money can again it's not that expensive but still people with money will go to this event next year i'd love to go to this event but this year i won't be able to because it's in a different part of the world for me so people key people will be going to this event with a lot of money and if they invest their money in the cryptocurrency markets the prices will go up so that's the money that it matters institutional money matters our pennies or pounds a few dollars don't really affect the market as much as their money that affects the market massively so i'm going to take, quickly uh, go through these prospectus guys you can download it through their website it just gives you more detail some of the things that i've already talked about it just shows you a bit more detail again i just want to look at these sponsors guys deloitte my Microsoft, EOS, IBM, NASDAQ, Ripple, Dash. Um, it's, it's really, really very, very good event for cryptocurrency. You can imagine some of the good networking that some of the coins would be able to do. So Bitcoin website, CoinBank, Iconomy, uh, Open Ledger, Santander, Shapeshift, Toyota, um, Ernest and Young is that uh, EY Ernest and Young? So again, so guys, some brilliant, brilliant companies. You can see how much it costs for sponsorship, guys. It tells you a bit about this event, how important this event is. People are paying crazy money for sponsoring this, going to this event, having booths and roundtable sessions. They want to meet as many people as they can because you can imagine, you know, if they get one investment of 10 million from a key investor, that could change that, uh, change, change their lives. And I'm not just saying that in a negative way, guys. With that money, they could, you know, de develop the technology a lot because they need money to develop it. So uh, good money could come into this to this crypto market space which could help us in the future developing more and more so you can imagine a uh, coat and luggage check uh, how much the sponsorship cost for that hackathon sponsors so they, they, they're making a lot of money just people paying for sponsoring guys a pre-conference exposure is just sponsoring you can imagine the amount of money they're making and if people are paying for it you can see people wouldn't pay for something that wouldn't help them they know how much their money is important for them uh, the cryptocurrency companies and people sponsoring them they know the importance of the money and how it could change their change their future so they're paying the money so yeah i'll just advise you guys to take through it and Again, I'd just love to hear your feedback. What do you think? Is it actually going to go up? I've done some uh, analysis on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies lately. Talked about my predictions and what, what can happen. I've done some technical analysis, although I don't like talking about technical analysis as much. I've given you my technical analysis. And, you know, since this crash, guys, it's kind of been uh, consolidating. It's been quite range bound. So next few days and next couple of weeks are really important for Bitcoin. It could tell us whether it's going to go up massively to all time highs, but 12 grand, 9 grand, or whether it will fall or double bottom and um, at six grand some some technical analysis are predicting uh, four grand some people are talking about death cross i've, I've made previous videos so i'm not going to go into detail so we're going to find out what happens but i think again 2018 overall is going to be a great year for bitcoin uh, ethereum litecoin ripple i'm not i've got concerns about ripple but it's going to be you know great for cryptocurrency markets and we are uh, waiting for a bull run it just depends on there's been a lot of news with regulation news again some regulations are good but there's been a lot of FUD around cryptocurrencies and bans around cryptocurrencies which has kind of affected us but it could um, I think 2018 is going to be a good year so maybe you've been waiting for this bit guys I'm going to talk about my conspiracy theory it's not my conspiracy theory I've been talking to people on on social media and in real life about it 
So my conspiracy theory, guys, guys, is when the market goes up massively, whales take their money out. So last year in December, uh, a lot of money came into the market. You know, whales are investing a lot of money. So that's when it went up massively and it created FOMO. Every Tom, Dick and Harry were talking about cryptocurrency. It was on the news and everyone was just investing. And that's caused that massive, crazy price increase. And then the whales took their money out and now they're trying to... Uh, push the price down as low as they can so they want to want it to go to probably four grand so the lower it goes the more bitcoins they get so they the whales the conspiracy theory is institutional money the big whales they're trying to they plan all the fad and bad news that come out to price the price uh, to put the price down and um, get all get all the weak hands to sell their coins they want to take all our bitcoin because bitcoin is going to be huge in the future so they want us to sell our bitcoins and they want to get more bitcoins they want to push the price down and then once it goes down to the least amount that they can so maybe three grand four grand six grand whatever that is that's when their money comes in all the positive news comes out bitcoin cryptocurrency goes flying high and poor people like us normal citizens of the world don't get anything again is that's just my conspiracy theory guys i'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think about it do you think i'm crazy and um, do you think it's the truth it could happen i'd love to hear your thoughts on this um, on this conspiracy theory guys so yeah, I'd just like to uh, please leave comments below, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about this price prediction, this event about consensus and just um, your thoughts in general. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, smash that like button, guys. It helps uh, show this video to more people and help more people. So it gives exposure to this video. So I'd really appreciate if you like, smash that like button and subscribe it with your friends, family, um, and share share it with your friends, you know. Uh, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends on social media, Twitter, face-to-face, -face, word of mouth, whatever. I don't mind, just share it with your friends. And again, if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you many more videos about cryptocurrency news trading tips trading signals and breaking news just like this and price predictions and all the cryptocurrency news that you can have so thank you very much for watching this video guys and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much